Hey everyone, my name's Atta from LazyWare Maps, and I'm going to give you a brief overview of LazyTube 2.2. So um, let's have a look. The first thing you'll notice is um, we've added a new navigational pane called the Lazy List. Now, the Lazy List is basically a combination of uh, video feeds, and um, as you can see, we've pre configured it to display videos from ourselves, uh, subscriptions, featured and top rated. And um, so you guys can customize it to whatever whatever you like. And um, basically the list will alternate between between those um, selected feeds. And so you've got this sort of single kind of dashboard type feed where you can see what's happening on um, those. We've now added in the ability to play high definition videos in 720p. So you can see here at the um, top right you've got a little toggle and uh, you can select the quality that you like. So I'll just demo the HD working. And um, you can always go back to HQ. You'll notice how the um, the seeker went to the correct position in the video, so you never lose your place. So you can easily switch between the two qualities um, and watch it seamlessly. A commonly requested feature has been the ability to subscribe to authors, and I'm pleased to say that uh, you can now do this. So all you have to do is pan to the author section. Um, you'll notice that there's a description about the author, uh, how many people are subscribed to the channel, how many channel views, the number of videos that the author's uploaded, and uh, to subscribe all you need to do is hit the subscribe button. And um, to unsubscribe you just tap it again. Um, just a quick thing to note is the video is actually still playing while I'm browsing the panes. Um, this is also something that people have been requesting and it's quite, it's quite nice, I quite like this actually. Another requested feature has been the ability to uh, view recently played videos. And so we've added in another pane. Um, as you can see here, it's got a list of um, all the videos that I've recently played. Now, to clear this list, all we need to do is go to the settings. And you can see here it's got clear recently played. I tap that. It'll ask me if I'm sure. And. Um, you'll see that that list is now gone. Uh, one little thing to note, if we jump back into the settings, is um, we also now support regional settings. And so if you you can select uh, your locale and the videos will update. Probably the single most requested feature has been the ability to uh, browse uh, categories or filter by categories. Uh, we're sorry it's taken this long to get it in, but we finally got there. And so under the uh, the main title there's a small link where if you click it you'll get a selection and so I'm currently in the most viewed pane um, let's say I wanted to see most viewed um, sports so I'll select that and that will bring up all the sports LazyTube now has a new tile What's special about this tile is um, it'll actually adapt to your phone's theme. So currently we're obviously using the blue theme. If we wanted to say change it to green, you'll see that the tile has changed accordingly. If you've had a look through the lazy list, you're probably wondering why we've added this Mix 11 WP7 clip to our uh, videos. Now I'll just give you a bit of background about this video. This video is actually a fan-made video uh, and Microsoft said that if he can get 200,000 views they will air this on national TV. And so he's still got a fair way to go and we thought hey we'd try and help him out because we think it'll be really cool to see a, a video made by a fan like us. 
And so if you like this video and think that he should make it, please uh, share it, Twitter, Facebook, email, and um, hopefully we can make some sort of contribution to actually get this guy onto TV. Well, that's it from me. Um, I really hope you guys like it. Uh, make sure to give us some feedback on Facebook or Twitter or send us an email. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. Thanks, guys.